Whether you're a thrill seeker, a survival enthusiast, or just looking for an intense movie, the survival genre has definitely got you covered. Welcome back everyone, Matthew here with Cinegold, and today we're diving into the wild and unpredictable world of survival with the top 7 best survival movies on Netflix right now. Let's jump on in and take a look at number 7. No estoy en el barco. ¿Cómo que no estás en el barco? Que mi contenedor se cayó. Number seven, Nowhere. This is a survival thriller about a husband and wife who attempt to escape to Ireland to secure a better future for their unborn child. However, their journey takes a harrowing turn when they are separated during a smuggling attempt, leading the wife to face the perils of the open ocean and fight for survival alone, all while being pregnant. Nowhere is not the most realistic survival movie on this list, but makes up for it with thriller elements such as strong momentum and plot twist. Not everyone is gonna be into it, but for anyone looking for something a little different, check out Nowhere. Number six, Everest. The film chronicles the tragic events of the 1996 Mount Everest disaster where two expedition groups faced severe weather conditions that led to a fight for survival. Everest covers the physical and emotional struggles climbers face when climbing the world's highest peak. The cinematography in this movie is stunning, bringing a realism that is both awe-inspiring and hard to watch. If you want to see a film that does a good job of letting you experience the dizzy highs, beautiful scenery, and natural terror of the highest place in the world look no further than Everest. Mac, two or three sips a day, yeah? You gotta make it last. Number five, Unbroken. This is the remarkable true story of Louis Zamperini, an Olympic athlete turned World War II bombardier who survives a plane crash only to endure 47 days adrift at sea and later faces brutal torture as a Japanese prisoner of war. Survival is about not giving up no matter the odds and no man seemed to have the odds stacked against him like Louis Zamperini. He faced one thing after another and always managed to keep going. To be fair, the the best way to experience his story is through the fantastic 2010 book of the same name, but you're here for Netflix movies and this is an unbelievable story that should not be skipped. What do you think really happened to the Denmark expedition? Number 4, Against the Ice. This film recounts the harrowing true story of Danish explorer Ina Mikkelsen and his companion Ivor Iverson as they embark on an Arctic expedition in 1909 to claim Greenland for Denmark. Battling extreme cold isolation and the unforgiving Arctic conditions, the film explores their extraordinary journey of survival and the resilience that define their quest for national pride. It also does a good job of showing how a lot of historical adventures are often glamorized and the truth is that a lot of history is made through tenacity and the ability to endure immense suffering. Against the Ice is a pretty intense watch but a good one. I know some of you out there enjoy Netflix but feel uncomfortable with the price which keeps rising and rising. But did you know you could actually get a Netflix subscription for much cheaper? You can do this by using Gamsco. Instead of paying for a full price subscription, you pay a percentage of the price with a group of other users where everybody shares the account and shares the cost. As you can see, the prices are much cheaper and they even have other services such as Disney Plus. So technically you could get multiple services for the price of a normal Netflix subscription. If you're interested, I put an affiliate link in the description below where I do get a commission on any purchase. You can also find my promo code where you can get an even bigger discount. Number three, The Impossible. In 2004, a family was vacationing in Thailand when the massive Indian Ocean tsunami struck their location, causing mass devastation. This film follows the family's struggle to survive during the aftermath and the overwhelming odds they face in order to reunite amidst the chaos and destruction. The Impossible is an emotional and powerful film that shows how people find new strength and determination when tragedy stares them in the face. The the tsunami sequence is horrifying and the whole film is expertly crafted. If you're curious on what it takes to survive in the aftermath of a terrible natural disaster, check out The Impossible. 
Si no comemos, nos vamos a morir. ¿Comer qué? Number two, Society of the Snow. The film covers the 1972 Andes flight disaster in which an Uruguayan rugby team's plane crashed into the Andes mountains and left them stranded. This true story became quite remarkable due to the survivors' decision to eat the corpses of their dead friends and family in order to keep themselves alive. The story may sound familiar because it was previously adapted into the 1993 movie Alive, but one difference I noticed between the two versions is that Society of the Snow strips away any shred of romanticizing from the story and shows us just how gruesome and arduous the whole tragedy really was. Society of the Snow is definitely not for the faint of heart. Number 1, The Revenant. In 1823, fur trapper Hugh Glass was attacked by a grizzly bear and left for dead by his team. Driven by an unwavering will to live, he finds himself navigating the harsh wilderness on his way back to civilization. The Revenant, more than almost any film of recent memory, captures the harsh beauty of the natural environment. The cold, haunting cinematography is in a class of its own and puts the viewer inside the film where we feel ourselves struggling to endure right alongside the tenacious glass. The Revenant is one of the very best films of recent years and is without a doubt the best survival movie on Netflix. What are your favorite survival movies on Netflix? Please let me know in the comments below and you can check out this video for the top 10 adventure movies on Netflix. Once again that's it for me today everybody. I will see you soon.